Hey friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I made in November and December. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. First, I want to apologize to you all because I was supposed to film this video, edit it, and upload it on Sunday, but I have been sick, you guys. Like, I caught a cold from one of my childcare kids, and it knocked me off my feet, okay? So I'm struggling, but I didn't want you to wait too long for a video, so I'm filming anyway. I know I look a bit rough, but I have the coolest duster on. It goes all the way down to my ankles. It's something I totally forgot that I purchased from an Etsy shop years ago. And it's so cozy and comfortable and it matches my hat that is hiding my crazy hair, okay? The hair is a mess, y'all. I mean, normally when I come on here, I try to be cute, but I couldn't do it. And I mean, the beast is, um, she's, she's tamed in this hat today. So please forgive that. Now, I will be mentioning some patterns or things that I made that I did a dedicated review for on my channel. I will let you know which things those are. I won't be going into detail about those makes. However, I will link the videos to those makes so that you can get more information if you'd like. I didn't make as many things as I had planned to make in the month of December, but I did pretty good. I'll share with you all the things. I'm going to start with the first thing that I made and kind of work my way through. The very first thing that I made was in collaboration with Sarah of Naughty Gnome Crafts here on YouTube and on Instagram, and that was the Morgan Jeans by Closet Core Patterns. I love this pattern. It's really good. If you've never made jeans before, I think you might enjoy making these jeans because the instructions were really well written. I made two pairs so far, only one I'll be sharing in this video, and that pair, I actually have a dedicated video talking about the details on how I put it together. I actually made this out of some denim that I purchased from Core Fabrics, and I love this denim. It definitely looks very comparable to any denim that you would find at Levi's or anywhere else. It's really nice quality denim. I decided to do top stitching in a contrasting color, which is a gold. I loved making these jeans so much that I had to hurry up and make another pair. That's how much I really love this pattern and I actually plan to make more just because I finally figured out my fit on these guys. Now in the first version, the one that I'm sharing pictures of, there are some fails and I do talk you through the things that I did to either fix those fails or things that I had planned to do in my next versions in that dedicated video. I chose to pair it with a yummy bodysuit. I'm obsessed with yummy bodysuits. They're so comfortable, so cute. They give tummy control, and you can get them in quite a few different colors. But anyways, I've been pairing them with a lot of different things that I make, and I just love the way they look and feel. So I've paired it with one of those, and then I also have on some loafers. I thought this was a really cute outfit, and in a few pictures, I actually paired it with my next make, which is the Friday Pattern Company Ilford Jacket. I really enjoyed making the Ilford Jacket. This is, I don't have the pattern cover because it is something that I printed. It was a PDF that I taped together. I enjoyed making this jacket so much that I actually plan to make another version. This time for this version, I made the short version, but in my future versions, I'd like to make the long version. I really enjoyed the process. I also like the fact that Friday Pattern Company has sew-alongs for their patterns, and this particular one has a bunch of different sew-alongs for different steps in the actual instructions. So if you only need help with the plackets, or if you only need help with the collar or whatever, you can go to the video for that particular area of the pattern, and I think that's really helpful. Another thing I like about this pattern is that it came with several different pocket options and I chose to do the pockets with the flaps on top. Now I didn't add buttons to those flaps because I felt like it would be easier for me to get my hands in and out if I didn't have the buttons. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't use those buttons anyway. So I left them off, but I do love the way my version came out. I used a brushed cotton that I purchased from Joanne. It's very colorful and beautiful. And when I'm feeling pretty rough, a lot of times I wear bright colors and they cheer me up. So this was like the perfect fabric for me. 
this jacket has been paired so well with so many things in my wardrobe and because I loved the fabric so much, I had to make a matchy matchy suit. So I actually ordered more of that fabric to make another item, which I'll share with you in a few minutes. But this particular pattern is definitely a winner in my book. And if you're an advanced beginner or an intermediate sewist, you will have no issues sewing this up, especially with the sew along videos. The next pattern that I sewed up is Simplicity S9554. This is a Mimi G pattern. It is an oversized button up shirt and I absolutely adore this pattern. I love it so much that I definitely want to make another one in the spring or summer. I chose to make it out of a fabric that I definitely regret now, but this particular fabric was a fabric that I got very, very cheap on Amazon and with good reason, it smells like chemical. I washed the fabric, thought the chemical smell went away, but as I was sewing the shirt, I could still smell it. So I washed the shirt again after I made the shirt and I still smell a hint of that chemical smell. So I'm really disappointed in the quality of the fabric overall. I mean, it's beautiful, it's soft, it's perfect by, by looking at it, but it just smells bad. So if it smells bad, it makes me think it's probably not good for my skin or my body. I've only worn it a couple times, which is a bummer because it's such a cute shirt. The pattern itself is a great pattern. Advanced beginner or an intermediate so it would have no issues making this. It does require you to know how to do buttonholes and buttons, but the instructions are clear enough and it is a pretty easy pattern to put together. I highly recommend it and I definitely want to make more. And I chose to pair my top with some faux leather leggings and some combat boots for these photos. I like that look together. And like I said, I can't wait to make more because it was such a great pattern and I think it's very cute and comfortable. The next pattern that I made is another Mimi G pattern. It is Simplicity S9636 and I made, let's see what view is it? I made view A. View A is the short sleeve sweatshirt without the side cutouts. I Mine is closed up and it's because I wanted more coverage on my bum. I was gifted this pattern by my friend Talisha and it was a bit too small so for this version it's cute I like the way it looks but I did go back and purchase the pattern again so that I can make a larger size the size that I made for these photos is a size 12 and as you can see it doesn't quite cover my bum and that's kind of what I wanted it to do is come a little bit lower so making a larger size will fix that problem I made this particular pattern out of a sweatshirt fleece fabric that I purchased from Girl Charlie years ago and I used a shoestring for the drawstring on the hood. I also used grommets for the holes on the sweatshirt to pull the string through. Um, I think in future versions I'll probably just do a buttonhole just because I feel like they're kind of clunky looking on the neck of that sweatshirt but the sweatshirt itself is very cute and comfortable. Since it's winter I'm actually pairing that with a long sleeve uh, t-shirt as well as a turtleneck um, and some thick leggings winter leggings for the pictures I've paired it with some white leggings they're my favorite leggings that I get from Amazon I believe they're called butterfly soft leggings um, those are so comfortable you guys and if you have an issue with bloating or you don't like things to be super super tight on your stomach or waist you might want to give those a try because they really feel like nothing and they're so very comfortable to wear I have paired this outfit with a couple of different pairs of sneakers I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go but I paired them with some Air Maxes and I think that that's my favorite look and those Air Maxes are white, uh, silver, gold, and black and I purchased those for myself and my sister for our birthday. Our birthdays are two days apart. So I like to buy my sister something that I really love and we like to twin out when we can. So anyway, paired those sneakers with my outfit and I thought it was so cute together. I also tried pairing it with some Kyrie's that I have, which is also very cute, but I think there's something about that clean black and white look. Um, so I definitely enjoy wearing it with my Air Maxes more. This was a very easy set pattern to sew up and I really enjoyed sewing it. I will say that the hood itself was probably one of the easier hoods that I've put together. I've sewn lots of sweatshirts before and I just thought it was a pretty easy, basic, uh, straightforward sew that anybody could make. So I highly recommend this one. The next pattern that I sewed up is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy Sweatshirt Dress. I love this pattern. I have made several of this dress and the sweatshirt and I'll continue to make it because it is a staple. I know that it works well for my body and it's super easy to whip up. 
For this version, I did not use the side seam pockets because I wanted to have a front pouch pocket. And so for that, I took the front pouch pocket from this Simplicity Pattern S9636 and I applied it to the Billy Sweatshirt dress and it was perfect. In this version of the Billy Sweatshirt dress, I chose to use a very lightweight French terry fabric that I received from Threadcrate and it has an army print on it. It's very cute and I loved wearing it. I usually pair it with either my black Uggs or my black combat boots and I also pair it with leggings. It is one of my most cozy things that I love to wear during this cold season. And if you've never made a Billy sweatshirt dress, I highly recommend it. I think you'll really love it. And you might be addicted like me and just make a bunch of them. I don't know. <laughs> I really love the way this one came out. And it is something that has definitely been on my body every week. So highly recommend it. Really easy to sew. Anybody could make it. Definitely a beginner friendly pattern. The next pattern that I sewed up is also a beginner friendly pattern. As a matter of fact, it says easy to sew right on the front. This is Simplicity 4552. It's a great pattern. It comes with a shirt, a dress, a pants, a jacket, and a skirt. I made the skirt. I made the skirt using that awesome bright colored plaid brushed cotton that I made my Ilford jacket out of so that I could have a matchy matchy set. And when I tell you I get more compliments on that outfit than any other outfit in my closet, I truly mean that. Not only is it very comfortable, but also it's extremely cute and colorful. Now this particular pattern is probably the easiest skirt I've ever made. I highly recommend this pattern to beginners, well anybody actually, but I really enjoyed sewing it up and I definitely want to make a couple more. And because it's an elastic waist skirt, you could make this out of lots of different fabrics. And to be perfectly honest, my next version I think I might even make out of a ponte, which is a stretch fabric, when um, the recommendations for the fabrics on this envelope are all woven I just think it will still work really nice. I love the length of this skirt and it was perfect for my Thanksgiving outfit. I was warm, I was cute, I was cozy and I just love this pattern. I can only imagine that I'll be making all views this summer and it's just a very basic pattern that everyone should. Have. I will tell you that I did have an issue with the fabric when it came to my Ilford jacket and that skirt because there were a couple of pieces for both patterns that you cut on the fold and I wasn't very careful about the placement of my plaids. So on the back of my Ilford jacket and also on the back of my skirt, you'll see that the plaids are not going perfectly straight. They are kind of slanted. It's not a big deal. It doesn't bother me. I still wear both pieces, but the one thing that I do find that I feel more comfortable wearing the skirt is if I put a thick belt at the top because I think it's less noticeable. And I don't think anybody's really paying attention to the hem of the skirt so much as I think it's more noticeable at the back top of the skirt. So wearing a belt has fixed that issue. But other than that, I love this skirt so much. And as far as my jacket is concerned, I could care less. I love that jacket to pieces. I don't care that it's a little slanted in the back. It's perfect for me. The next thing that I made is the Ashling top and dress. I made the version that is cropped. And I made this as the first garment in my Elevate with Ankara series with Talisha of Creativity by T here on YouTube. If you're not following that series, you really should. It's very fun. Um, but anyway, I made the cropped top version of this and I love it so much. I used a really beautiful, bright Ankara fabric and it is definitely one of those makes that you feel extremely proud of when you're finished because of all the unique details that come along in this blouse pattern. If you look at my pictures, you'll be able to see that the hem of my crop top, I have pleated the ruffle all the way around. It also has some really cool gathered wrists and I just love it. It's such a great pattern, definitely a statement piece in my wardrobe. And I actually plan to make more of this pattern. I'd love to make a white one and a black one, maybe even navy blue or eyelet so that I can wear it all year round. If you want to hear more details about that particular top, please head over to the Elevate with Ankara sewing series playlist and you can find a full review of that pattern in that playlist. I had the wonderful opportunity to become a Cashmere Club collaborator and the very first pattern that I got to help collaborate on was the Ashwood pants and these are Ponty pants that I plan to live in. Hopefully the pictures come through nicely when I hold it up close but as you can see these are really nice form-fitting pants 
These particular pants are fitted through the waist and hips and flare at, out below the knee with the yoga style waistband for ultimate comfort. And it's a pretty easy sew, but it's very beautiful when, it, when you put it together. Um, now you have the option of having a split in the front here. I am personally a, not a person that is a fan of a front split, so I chose not to do that version. Mine just goes straight. I made it out of this really beautiful, gorgeous Ponty fabric that I got from uh, Joanne and it is just the perfect weight for winter. So cozy and comfortable. I feel very cute and put together when I'm wearing these pants but I could easily lay down and take a nap in them because they're that comfortable. Let me tell you a little bit about the Cashmere Club. I love that I get to be a part of this because not only will I get access to a new pattern every single month, but I also have access to fit courses. There is an online community, so I get to communicate with other sewists that are sewing the same patterns as me. And there are also live events throughout the year that I will have access to. If you're interested in any of those things and you're a fan of cashmere patterns, which I am because they often have a pattern that is just so suitable for my body type. I, I struggle with finding patterns that have cup sizes to accommodate my bust and cashmere patterns, their patterns all come with bust sizes. So I really gravitate towards their patterns and I'm so excited to be a part of the club. So anyways, if you're like me and you're interested in trying out the cashmere club, I highly recommend it. Definitely check it out and let the Ashwood pants be the very first pattern that you try out because I promise you, you will enjoy the feel of them on your body and you'll enjoy the process of putting them together. In the photos, you'll see that I've paired these pants with a striped yummy bodysuit. Again, like I said, I have tons of them. I love those bodysuits. I've also paired it with a pair of heels, but you could easily pair these pants with sneakers or boots depending on what you plan to do for your day. I think it's a wonderful outfit and I have been wearing it nonstop since I made them. The next thing that I made was my Christmas Eve outfit. Guys, I told you I wanted to make a sparkly metallic -y skirt so I can bling bling on Christmas and that is exactly what I did. I used fabric that I purchased from Joann's. It was on clearance because it was a Halloween costume fabric. It's very stretchy, much like a, a Ponty, but it has a metallic -y topping on it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so cute and I felt so great on Christmas Eve wearing that skirt. The pattern that I used is Simplicity S8982, and I did do the skirt for that particular pattern. This is tried and true. I've made a couple of different versions. I will continue to make all pieces in this pattern because it is so good, but the skirt came together so quickly. It actually looks expensive in my opinion. I'll tell you what, like I, if I saw that in a store, I definitely would scoop it up because it's just so well put together and I am proud of myself for all of my makes that I made in November and December. I did include labels, which I purchase these things often because I love sewing labels and I think they're a cool way to just jazz up your outfit. But I always forget to put them inside my garments. This time I did not and I think it just looks so professional and so cute and I really enjoyed wearing it. It was very comfortable. I paired this skirt with a bright pink Ellie Tahari turtleneck sweater and I also paired it with heels. I tried some different looks. I tried it with some boots and stuff like that but my preferable look would be with the heels and I used a nude heel. I just felt so cute and so confident wearing my bright pink sweater and this sparkly bling bling skirt. If you've never tried that pattern I highly recommend it. It's so easy and it's so flattering and it's so comfortable. The next thing that I made was pajamas for my sons. I'll insert pictures. I used a tried and true pajama bottom pattern. The, oh, the number of that particular pattern has escaped my brain at the moment but I can tell you that it is one that I have shared full reviews on in the past over the couple of years I've had uh, sewing content on my channel and both times I mentioned it, it was around Christmas. So if you want to look back, you can find what pattern it is, but I made them pajama pants and then I purchased them t-shirts and created a custom sweatshirt uh, pocket pouch on the front of the t-shirt to match their pants so that it would look like it was a set. The boys have been wearing those pajamas like crazy. They love them. The cotton fabric that I used for both pairs is from Joanne and I featured it in a recent fabric haul. 
So you can check out information about that if you go back and look at my most recent fabric haul video. But the boys really enjoyed wearing their jammies and I enjoyed making them. It makes me happy to make them things that they really enjoy, but it's a very simple, easy to sew pattern. And it's one of those value packs that comes with a mom and a dad pattern as well. The problem with the adult version of that pattern is that the crotch is super low. So I don't use the adult portion of that pattern. I only trace over and over again the kids pajama pants. And so good pattern, basic staple, Everyone should have a good pajama pant pattern in their stash. If I can remember the name of that pattern or the number, I'll put it on the screen. The last thing that I made in the month of December is actually a pattern scout pattern. I pattern tested for pattern scout the birch vest. And this is a really great vest that you can make out of lots of different fabrics, woven fabrics in particular. I personally chose to make it out of a denim. It is so easy, it comes together really quickly. It's fully lined, however, you do have the option to use a facing piece instead of fully lining it. I personally prefer the fully lined look and so that is what I went for in my versions. The first version that I made, I made a size 10 and I believe I made it in a D cup and it was in the testing phase. So that first version, it fit my mannequin perfectly, but it did not fit my big old bosom in real so, life. So round two, after some um, tweaks had been made to the pattern, I made my final version. And this time I was a bit nervous about how a size 10 would fit. So I cut a size 12 D cup and it turns out that I probably should have stuck with the size 10 D cup. With the size 12, I found that there was a little bit of wrinkling on the cups, but it's okay because I've been able to wear that vest over thicker sweaters and things like that. Um, so, or even wear it open and it's not a big deal. But um, going forward, when I make another version, I will definitely make the size 10 D cup with the new modifications to the pattern and I think it'll fit perfect. And for both versions, I used the scrap fabric that was left over from um, Jean projects that I have done in the past. And this is definitely a great scrap buster project. I actually kind of am playing with the idea of doing a color blocking situation with this pattern because it has so many wonderful princess seams and it has lots of different pieces that you could definitely color block easily with. Now, this pattern is one that you can put together in an afternoon. It's not gonna take your whole life to put together this cute little vest, which I totally appreciate. And for both versions, I lined them with some leftover cotton voile fabric that I had from dresses that I had made recently. I think these vests would be very cute styled over jeans like I have done in the photos, over skirts like I have done in the photos, over dresses. There's a lot you can do with the top vest and I really enjoyed making this and I think that you might enjoy it as well. In my final version, I do want to point out that I didn't get a close-up picture, but I have the perfect buttons on there. These buttons are little brown buttons and they have, kind of have like a pearlized look on them and they have flowers inside. Anyway, so cute. I really enjoyed making this birch vest and for my final version, I paired it with my Morgan jeans that I shared at the beginning of this video. And so I made a matchy matchy set and I love it. I also layered it over my pink turtleneck sweater, which I think is a cute look, but you can also layer this over a button up. You can wear it by itself or any other thing. Like I've seen people pair it with dresses and I think that absolutely looks so cute. I really enjoyed sewing this. I think that you might also enjoy making it as well. So definitely check out this pattern. It's very easy and it's super cute. Well friends, that's everything that I made in the months of November and December that I can share with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and also check out the Elevate with Ankara sewing series here on my channel as well as Creativity by T. Talisha's channel. I think that you'll enjoy some of the inspiration that we're dropping in those videos, so please give them a look. Thank you so much. Have a great day, a great week, and a great start to your 2023. Bye.